we have our application up and running and it works pretty well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can type your style components because style components is very commonly used with React and I use it a lot. I use it all the time myself. So that's what I'm going to show you. So of course I have, if we look in the package.json file, I have style components installed for this one. You've probably seen that already if you was curious and checked out the package.json file. And the other thing I installed is the types for style components and you can grab them from at types forward slash style components. So that's what we need for this. And if we look in the app component, for example, you can see that I have a wrapper style component. So we go inside app.styles. This is my wrapper and that, that's actually the only style component I have for this app component. Then I style the button itself, like a nested one here inside of that wrapper. So I'm not always using uh, or creating a, a special style component for everything that I do. I think it's uh, more readable to have something nested like this and I don't have to create a button component with style components. So in this small application, it works pretty well. So we're going to try out some stuff here now. And what if we want to send in a prop to this style component? For example, we can send in the character ID and change the color of the button that we have in our application to be one color if it's uh, less than five or something. I don't know. We can try that. So character ID equal. And then we send in the character ID. And now you can see that TypeScripts begin to complain because we are sending in a prop that we haven't typed. So we get a lot of stuff here. Usually I just go down to the bottom and you can see something probably, yeah, no. Yeah, here, property character ID does not exist on type. And that's because we haven't properly, properly typed this style component. So let's go inside our styles, app.styles.ts. And just as before, we can create a prop object, a type for the props, type props. You can name them to whatever you want. So even if I use props here in my examples, they can have whatever name uh, you want them to, ha to have. And we have the character ID. And it's going to be a number like this. So that's the props for the style components. And it's actually pretty simple to, to type this one. These elements here that we use on the styled dot, for example, in this case, it's a div. They are generics. So we can send in the, that uh, props as a generic. And now you can see that the app stops to complain here and it's satisfied because we are sending in that prop that we typed. And if we want to use this prop, for example, as I said, to change background on the button, instead of black here, and this is a template literal, if you're familiar, if you're familiar, if you're familiar, if you're familiar with the style components, you know that this is a template literal and we can make our JavaScript expressions inside of dollar sign and curly brackets. So we grab the props and from the props dot, you can see we have a lot of stuff here now, but if we type in to start to type in C, you can see that we have the character ID. So TypeScript is giving us the intelligence of the prop that we send in and that's pretty neat. So if this one is greater than five, question mark, we're gonna make the button orange. Otherwise we make it black like this. So we go back to our application to see if it works. So I click here a few times. You can see that it gets orange and black, orange, black, orange, black, orange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you get the idea here. Probably not a useful function, but hopefully you learn something about how to type your style components. All right, I'm going to do one more example. And for that one, I'm actually going to create a new component. So inside a components folder, I create a new file that I'm going to name gender.tsx and then I import React from React. Uh, I have a const gender, it's a react.fc equal. I'm going to destructure out some props, class name and gender. And for this one, I'm going to render out the p tag with a class name of class name. I'm going to explain this in a second. And then I show the gender. Export default gender. 
do some auto formatting. Now, first it complains because we haven't typed the props. So I'm going to create a type props. We have the gender, it's going to be a string. And also we have the class name. It's going to be a string. And I'm going to make this optional. And then we give this component these props as types. And now it won't complain. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to style this custom component with style components. And when we do that, we need to forward down the class name to the element that we want to style. So this component needs to take in a class name that we assign to the element that we want to style with the style components. And I'm making this optional because otherwise it will complain if we don't provide this one. If we want to use this component without styling it with style components, it will complain if we don't provide the class name. But by creating this question mark here, we make it optional. And that means that we can use this standalone without using it for creating a custom component with style components. All right, so, so for my card, I have some styles here for that one. We have the wrapper here, just as before, and I'm going to create a new component. So I'm going to export const. I'm going to call it styled gender. And actually, I also need to import this component up here. Import gender from not forward slash gender. So style gender equal styled. If you used style components, you know that when you style a custom component, we send it in with parentheses just as a regular function call. And we give it the component like this. And this component is going to display the gender that we get from the API. So we can do that first. So here from our styles in the card component, I'm going to import styled gender. And we can use it down below here, maybe. And I can actually remove this one here that we talked about before. So style gender. And it's going to take in a prop that's called gender. And we're going to send in the gender from the app components. We create another prop here. Gender is going to be a string. So we have the gender prop and we send it along. We just pass it down to the style gender. Yeah, and now it complains because it's missing, it, it's missing a lot of props here. So we're going to fix that in a second. But first I want to send along this one to the card because now it complains here also. And yet again, you can see the strength with TypeScript. It's telling us that this card component now needs the gender prop also. So gender equal from the character. And we have this nice IntelliSense here on our object that we get back from the API and we have the gender. So I attach that one, I forward it down here and now it complains because you can see here now that it wants some props. So we haven't typed this style component properly. So we go in the, into the card styles and I'm going to type out the props. And in this case, we're going to take in a color prop that's going to be a string. And the reason that it complained is because I haven't really created a style component. You can see I need to add the backticks and I need to have some style here. So I can set the background to red for now, like this. So save it and we can actually try it out before I send in this color prop. We're going to move inside of our application to see what we got so far. So we go back and you can see that we have the gender here and it displays the background in red. But let's say that we want to be able to set this background with a prop. So for my style gender, I'm going to send in a color prop. And in this case, I'm going to set it to green. And now it complains again because we don't have this prop on the style gender. And that's why I created this type of props here. That's going to be a color. So yet again, we have the generic here and we give it the props like this. And instead of red, we're going to access this prop here inside of the style component. And as we're in a template literal, we have dollar sign and color brackets. Then we have our props and we have an inline function. And from the props, we're going to grab, you can see that we have all the props here from that component, plus the prop that we added here. So we have the color, save it. And I go back to the application and now you can see that it's green. And we have successfully typed our style component that is created from this component here. 
So there you have it. That's It's pretty simple. And there are more advanced use cases with style components, but I'm not going to go through them here. So to be honest, in 95% of the cases, this will be enough. So this is it for this video, style components with TypeScript.